evening and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Marnie Hughes. We begin this evening with a tragic school shooting in Michigan. Yet another. 11 people in all were shot when a teenage gunman, a sophomore at the school, opened fire. Three students were killed. Eight other people were shot, including a teacher. This all unfolded inside Oxford High School, located about 30 minutes north of Detroit. The stories are terrifying. Students describing the chaos and confusion inside classrooms, barricading doors, climbing out of windows. Years of active shooter trainings turned into the real thing. In just minutes, we're going to be speaking with a student who was inside the school and also her older sister who was on the phone with her the entire time. But first, correspondent Kelly Beeson is here in studio with the very latest on another tragedy. Yeah, it's a difficult story, Marnie. We learned today, just a few hours ago, that among those who have died include a 16-year-old boy, 14-year-old girl, and a 17-year-old girl. Eight others are hurt, including a teacher. Two of the injured are currently in surgery. More than 100 911 calls flooding in after a suspect with a semi-automatic handgun shoots 15 to 20 times inside Oxford High School, killing three students and injuring eight people, including a teacher. We don't know if they were targeted. We will get to the bottom of that as we get further into this investigation. The high school is roughly 30 miles north of Detroit and the community relatively small. 22,000 people. Authorities say it took deputies five minutes from the first call to police to take the suspect into custody. We're executing a search warrant at the suspect's house. As I said, he's not cooperating with us at this point. In time. The suspect is a 15 year old student of the high school. Authorities say he asked for a lawyer and was told by his parents not to speak with police. The undersheriff urging media and the public to stick with the facts in this case, avoiding hearsay and social media. There's a lot of stuff out there. I can't confirm whether it's true or not. Ultimately, we will get to the bottom of this. Now, still no details on how the suspect got the gun. We know in Michigan you must be 18 years old to possess or own a handgun. And at this hour, Marnie, no word on a motive in this attack, but we are expecting another update from police. All right, Kelly, thank you. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.